VeChain has formed a beautiful chart and has broken out of the pattern it has been in for over half a year. Is this a trade to the possible all time high? In this video, I will give you the setup and the possible scenarios for this VeChain trade. Hey, welcome Fox. Great that you are watching another new trade signal video. If you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate if you could take two seconds, just two out of your time to hit the big red subscribe button underneath this video. Uh, and if you like this kind of videos, so the trade signal videos, short videos of a couple minutes, maybe five, six, six minutes uh, maximum, please consider liking the video as well. And if you have something to say, maybe some feedback or something like that, please make a comment below this video. All right, with that being said, let's go into the video and let's start with the setup I got for you. And this is an interesting setup because it's about VeChain and VeChain has been in a downtrend since uh, 8 November 2021. So what you can see is this falling wedge right here. You got this high, you got this low, you got this lower high, you got this lower low, lower high, lower low, and it keeps making lower highs, lower lows. So we're in a downtrend and that's obviously uh, the case. So on the daily, you can see we broke with one candle outside of this wedge already. There was today, you got this big support zone here. Uh, there's some liquidity picking up right here. Every time we touch this zone, you can see a big wick. So there's a lot of buyers in this zone and you can see the bounce off of it. We have made this uh, bounce again right here. So in the 1st of July, the 30th of June, and you can see the bounce up again. So we'd like to move one time frame lower. So to the four hour, you can see we broke out with a lot of volume here. So we broke out. Then we got an indecision candle, a lot of uh, sellers, a lot of buyers. Uh, we got a bearish candle. Well, it's a bit of an indecision candle as well. And then a candle with a lot of volume and buyers in it. So you could have decided to uh, get in the trade somewhere around this candle, put your stop underneath this price action below this uh, previous resistance and now support. And your target could be somewhere around here. And this is an area I want to talk about as well, because for me to get in this trade, I want to see us gain this area. So, I'm not going into the trade until I have the confirmation that we broke through this, got the support with a whole uh, full candle close above it, got support and then go in with another bullish candle somewhere around here and then trade to the next uh, zones and that zones could be right here. Uh, this is a big zone right over here. So the three cents more or less or the zero 31 cents. You got another zone uh, around here. So it's 47, 46, it's the whole numbers. But for now, let's see if we can make this, uh, we can gain this level here. If we don't, so we get a rejection. So we come up somewhere like here, we go up, we touch this zone and we get a rejection. Then I'm going to short this trade to this zone again, because this is a good zone to, uh, to short because it's the previous high and there's probably a lot of sellers over there. Uh, and you can always uh, search for more confluence to make sure this trade is legit to short it uh, whenever you want to. If you want to trade on a good platform, Bybit is by far my favorite. You will find my referral link in the description down below. You can get up to $4,050 bonus by signing up, depositing something, uh, some money on your account and going to trade. What you can also do is use the FIP levels. And if you use the FIP levels, you can see the 0 0.5 of FIP is uh, the same level as the support right here. So that's already two confluence. I think it's a good level to short as well. Keep an eye on this 382 from Fibonacci. That's around the 0 0.025 cents for uh, VeChain. So if you're in this trade, make sure you're taking some profits along the way. So on this level, a 0. Uh, 0 0.25 is a good level to take some profits. Also, you can take some profits now that's about this level and then look to the 0 0.026. That's a good level as well. But I like to short this trade as well since we're in a bear market, since we're pretty bearish as well. Um, it all depends on Bitcoin, obviously, but I'd like to short this trade around this point. If the chart still look to, looks good for a short, I will take the short as well. I have a short um, example for you to show 
about this FTM trade as well. It got a symmetrical triangle. It broke out and with a breakout out of a pattern. And always, I always wait for confirmation in the form of a FIB level. And you can see if we take this low to this high, so we uh, measure the retracement. I always get in or on a 3A2 if it hits the uh, previous resistance and now support and it doesn't right here or the uh, golden pocket and it does right here. So it, um, it hits the previous resistance, now support and also it's the golden pocket. And if you can see, if you take this line and you pull it a bit further, you can see that it's a support as well. So it's a good support area around here. If you look in the past around the same level, you can see there's a lot of rejection from this level. It's a bit higher rejection, rejection. So it's, it's a big level where people buy and sell a lot. So you can expect if you can aim here and especially with the golden pocket from Fibonacci, it's most of the times a reversal. You can see we came in here and bounced up. We came in here again and we made this nice, beautiful bounce up. So I would have gone in this trade if I saw this a bit earlier, but I didn't. But this is a good example for you also to maybe use in the V chain trade because we just broke out on the four hour on the daily. I would say, uh, look at the four hour. Maybe we would go a bit up. That's a different scenario. We would go, we'll go a bit up, then go back. Then you can measure the uh, FIB retracement from around here like this, from this low to this high, just a small wave and then get in somewhere, maybe around this level again, because it's the big support level. There's a lot of liquidity in here. Also the three eight, uh, the golden pocket from Fibonacci. So it might be a good trade. So I gave you three scenarios. If it falls back to this level somewhere around here, you can get in for a long trade. If you get a confirmation, obviously, or you can short it if it comes here and gets a rejection, or if it uh, gains this level, makes this as a support, you can go in and take the trade long to another level. All right, that was it for today. I hope you liked this video. You learned something about it. That's obviously my goal. So with that being said, that was the final thing. Thanks for watching. Please give me some feedback. Like the video if you like this, if you could see my English improving, because I think it does. And also, um, I hope to see you back in the next video. All right, bye.